time no talk i haven't made a video since like this summer i think and now it is the middle of november which is crazy um i just got back from wisconsin last night and i feel like lately people have been asking for the videos and i've been so lazy about it so this week i'm going to try and get up a new video for you guys um my hair looks really messy because i pretty much just woke up i did change though um but i still have to like brush my teeth and everything i am wearing this whoops this sweater from State Cashmere, just with some Lululemon leggings. Um, it's super cute. It has these buttons at the top and it's really soft and warm. It got cold here quickly, so it's like in the 40s. Um, but yeah, it's Sunday morning and I think it's, it's 10.30. Um, I'm supposed to meet a friend for coffee and then go play tennis, which I wasn't sure if that was gonna happen, which is why I got dressed, but it looks like I'll be changing out of this outfit and putting on like a workout outfit because I have a tennis date. My hands are full, but I just got a almond milk latte with lavender from my mom. It's so good. And the one on Hudson is so cute. I love that place. just got home from tennis and I got this big package from Harry and David which was so nice it was like their fall box this is their moose munch that they're known for which my mom and I love I'm so excited about it and then they sent some chutney and caramel dip yum they actually also sent a block of cheddar which was really nice but I literally just got home from the grocery store and bought myself a bunch of cheese so now I have a ton of cheese going to unload my groceries and make myself some lunch I got a bunch of stuff to make a really good sandwich, so I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, I didn't get anything super exciting otherwise. I'd do a haul, but yeah. Okay, I you can probably hear the football in the background. I feel so sporty with my TV watching football, um, but I just made myself a sandwich. And the trick to getting a really crispy sandwich like this is to put it in the pan with a little butter, but then put a little bit of mayo on the outsides of the bread. So I did avocado, tomato, turkey, green goddess, and dill Havarti cheese on Tuscan pain, which is like my favorite bread from Trader Joe's. And I'm so excited, it looks so good. Okay, it's 4.45. I just finished a gift guide. I was working on this one for the recent grad, Young Professional. And now I am going to start my soup. I'm really excited about this gift guide because I actually have a few things on here that I really love. Um, I love my Jo Malone perfume. I think this is a great gift for anyone who's looking for like a new adult kind of like signature scent. I had this bag for seven years before I got my Goyard and I think it's like absolutely fabulous it's very durable but affordable i have these earrings they were christmas present for my dad last year and then this is the suitcase i have i absolutely love it i think it's the best suitcase ever so yeah i'm gonna publish this on my blog tomorrow and then um yeah i'm just gonna start my soup now these are all my things I just got back from church and heated up my soup. Um, I had to like charge my phone while I was finishing cooking so I didn't really take any more videos, but this is it. I added sour cream, um, these like corn elote chips from Trader Joe's that are really good instead of tortilla chips just because like they have more flavor and I love them. And then some lime juice and extra sharp cheddar and I'm so excited to eat it. I'm not really showing you that much because it doesn't look that great, but I know it's gonna be good. So, yay! Hi everyone, um, it is Monday. It's almost six o'clock and I look really terrible. Um, <laughs> I forgot that I was supposed to be vlogging today so I didn't record anything, but I just had like a normal, pretty boring standard work day. And now I am dumping out my old flowers and filling up my new vase with this eucalyptus that I just got at Trader Joe's. Um, I'm having some friends over tomorrow for a little like wine and cheese night, a little mini Friendsgiving. So I wanted to clean my apartment tonight and like make it look cute. 
so that's the plan I got this base a couple weeks ago like right before halloween from h&m home they have really good stuff and this was like under 20 bucks so i'm just gonna put my eucalyptus in here if you followed me um last year i had a little friendsgiving at my house like in wisconsin and i did like the whole table setting with like candlesticks and eucalyptus it was really pretty so i wanted to do the eucalyptus vibe again plus it smells really good so that's always nice yeah i'm just gonna stick this in the vase like it's not that exciting but i guess i'll show you these smell so good um i got two different shapes because i thought that that would look nice so i'm just gonna kind of like <laughs> mix them up together i think this is gonna look good actually okay that was a challenge and i'm still <laughs> have to like style it because it looks so stupid but um yeah it's gonna look really cute there i think and then i need to like figure out this whole situation because i know that doesn't look good but um progress at least like the mums are out oh i dropped a bunch of little leaves so i'm going to make dinner and then unpack my suitcase and clean my apartment before I have some friends over tomorrow. Hello, hello, hello. It is Tuesday night, it's seven o'clock, and I just got back from Solid Core. I showered, I put on this cute sweater from State Cashmere, I'm obsessed with it. Um, and I'm having some girls over for a little wine and cheese. So I wanted to show you guys how I get all set up for that. I'm super excited. So I clean my whole apartment, I have a candle lit, and I clean my table. I'm gonna make the whole like spread on the table. Then I found this really cute like fireplace Christmas jazz playlist. I need to fix my eucalyptus because it looks really bad. Um, and then I'm going to make like this whole spread with things that were in that box that Harry and David sent me. Oh, by the way, this candle seriously smells amazing. It's the balsam one by Brooklyn Candle Studio. And unfortunately, at least I'm pretty sure they don't make it anymore, which is a huge bummer because it smells amazing. Um, but I'm gonna light that in here and then out here I have my pumpkin one. Ugh, this never like looks as cute as it does in real life. Probably partially to do with my fan, which I have here in case it gets really hot. Um, but it, I swear it looks, it looks really cute. Um, okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys about what I'm gonna make for my spread. Let me get everything out and then I'll show you. Okay, so this is everything. I'm going to bake some brie. And then one of the things Harry and David sent was this apple cherry chutney. So I'm gonna bake it and then put the chutney on top. Um, then I'm going to heat up some of this caramel dip and serve it with sliced apple. Oh, with the baked brie, I have these fruit and nut crisps. And then I have these pita bite crackers with some white cheddar. I have this mousse munch, which is Harry and David. It's basically like caramel and chocolate covered popcorn. It's so good. Then also this, what is this? Paradise mix dried fruit. I'll put a little bit of that out along with grapes, smoked almonds, and olives. And I think that'll be good. I wish I had like one more cheese, but I don't. So, and then my friends are bringing wine and I'm going to, I think since my eucalyptus looks kind of bad, I think I'm gonna take out these flatter pieces and lay them flat on the table and then just have this other shape sticking out of here because this looks like I have some wild plant growing in here. There's really not much to do, I guess, like cooking wise. I just have to bake the brie. It's mostly just arranging, but I guess I'll start getting things out because I think people are gonna get here in like 30-ish minutes and I'd like to have it all set up so I can take like a few photos um, and just like be all set. So yeah, let's see, what do I need? I'm definitely going to do well, I haven't decided. I'm either gonna do like the crackers and the cheddar on here. I haven't decided how I wanna do the baked brie. I could also do that on here, I guess. I need to think about this. Um, I really like this. And then I have small ramekins for like nuts and olives. Probably put the mousse munch in this cake dish or a bowl. Um, put the caramel dip in like one of these. I need to start thinking this through, so. I will update you shortly. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna stick the brie in the oven and then I decided I'm just gonna put the chutney on afterward. I think it only stays in here for like seven minutes, but I'll show you what I did. Okay, this is what I did. I should probably pause this. So here's what we have. Apples, white cheddar, warm caramel dip, olives, dried fruit and smoked almonds, 
crackers that I think will be really good with the brie, more crackers, dill havarti, grapes, moose munch, and a wine opener. I think it looks super cute. Caroline just left. I am getting in my bed. I made my bed. It looks so cozy and cute. I'm wearing these print fresh pajamas that I'm obsessed with. I have a code too, so I can put that in the description, but I'm just going to put away my sweater that I was wearing and get in bed. I'm already moisturized and I just brushed my teeth. So all I have to do is get in bed. I'm actually gonna put the pillows back on the couch too because my bed is like, I'll show you. Since my bed is like really smushed in here, if I put the pillows at the end of the bed, they'll disrupt my foot placement. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go put them on the couch while I sleep and then yeah, I'll be all good to go. I have completely run out of drawer space. Like my drawer is barely open anymore. They're like severely overflowing. I don't know what to do with all my clothes. So I have to hang up my sweater, which I'm usually very against. I don't believe that sweaters should be hung. I'm just gonna put it on my clothing rack. And fortunately I know that this is a sweater that I'll be wearing um, again soon. So I'm not too worried about it, but yeah. And I have like the shitty hanger too, because I ran out of regular hangers and I resorted to using the ones from the laundry place. So glamorous lifestyle indeed. Um, yeah, let's go put my pillows away and then go to bed. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Um, I didn't take any, I didn't record anything yesterday because um, I just simply forgot, but what did I do yesterday? Um, I, I don't even know. I, so this whole week I'm like, technically my new project hasn't started yet. So I've been helping out with like another proposal kind of thing for work, but I haven't had like a ton of actual work to do. Um, a lot of it is just like a lot of what, what I like should be doing this week is trainings, but I've already completed them. So I'm just getting a little break, which is very nice. Um, yesterday, last night, I went to a book club with a bunch of like new girls that I hadn't met before, which was really fun. They were so cute. They had like cookies made, designed as the book cover. They had like all the sugar fina, big cheese board. It was really cute and their apartment was like adorable. And then um, tonight, two of my aunts are in town, so we're going to dinner, which I'm excited about. And then I'm pretty sure there's a holiday party at Bergdorf's, so I think we're going to that too. So I think I'm going to like record today, and then that'll probably be the end of the video, so I can actually post it this time. Um, yeah. Right now, I'm just making coffee, and then I think I'm going to read a little bit. I'm currently reading The Nightingale, which I'm really into so far. I read The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna, which I absolutely loved. So this has been really good so far. It's about um, when the Nazis occupied France. It's my little coffee station. Um, I've used all of my favorite mugs already this week. Actually, I like this one a lot. It was my grandma's and I think it's really cute. So I'll use that one this morning. And then the creamer I've been loving is this one from Trader Joe's. I'm not like obsessed with it, but I just picked it up and it's good. So yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of this. And then the coffee that I made was this one by Real Good Coffee. Um, I got this grinder from Chamberlain Coffee, um, which I never had a grinder before, but I like it. It just makes your coffee like really fresh because these are whole beans. So then I grind it, my hot water, put it in the French press and voila. Let's see if I can make this look cute. Okay, perfect. Love it. Um, yeah, now I'm just gonna read for a little bit and then Maybe like check my email. Okay, you guys, I just ran to Zara and I picked up this sweater. It's literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. Like it's so adorable. Joe and I are going to a Broadway show around Christmas time. And like, you know, I'm wearing this. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm also really sweating. It's like 65, it's like 70 degrees outside. I need to take this off. Okay, 
Radio Chanel. adorable it's such a sunny day this is so lovely it is such a gorgeous day like it just came this looks so good i'm so happy <laughs> okay you guys i think this will probably be the end of this video but I'm gonna give you some bagel content before i go this looks like really something that'll be good for me. Mmm. Yum. And a little sriracha. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>